The season's first snowstorm buried part of Montana's high line with two feet of snow. In a world where the beaten path is often the chosen route, there exist roads that defy all norms, roads that challenge the daring, roads where adventure is not just an option, but a necessity. Today, we explore these legendary pathways where the journey itself is the destination, where each turn could lead to a breathtaking moment or a heart-stopping challenge. These roads stretch across deserts, carve through mountains, and skirt along precipices, offering not just a journey, but an epic narrative of survival and bravery. Join us as we unveil the 15 most dangerous roads that actually exist. Number 15. Guoliang Tunnel once isolated, nestled within the Taihang Mountains, the quaint Chinese village of Guoliang located in the Hunan province of China could only be accessed by a precarious mountain path, breathtaking yet fraught with danger. This path, though scenic, was an exhaustive journey where a mere misstep could result in fatal consequences. Unaided by government initiatives, the villagers took matters into their own hands, embodying a spirit of resilience and determination. In 1972, a visionary group of 13 villagers embarked on an audacious project to carve a tunnel directly through the mountain, bypassing the treacherous path. Lacking modern machinery such as excavators or bulldozers, and even basic resources like dynamite, these villagers relied solely on manual labor. Armed with nothing but their collective will, they undertook the Herculean task of digging what would become known as the Guoliang Tunnel. Over five years, with 26 hands working tirelessly, they excavated a tunnel approximately 0.75 miles long, 16 feet in height, and 13 feet in width. The construction of the tunnel, though not the largest, stands as a monumental testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. At the height of this endeavor, progress was painstakingly slow, advancing merely three feet per day. The grueling conditions claimed the lives of three brave souls, underscoring the perilous nature of their mission. Upon completion, the Guoliang Tunnel radically transformed the lives of the villagers, granting them improved accessibility to the outside world. Moreover, this marvel of human effort has attracted tourists from across the globe over the past several decades. Despite its popularity, the tunnel presents its own set of dangers. It lacks safety features such as barriers and lighting, making navigation particularly hazardous at night. This has earned the tunnel a daunting reputation among the locals, who affectionately refer to it as the road that does not tolerate mistakes. Number 14. Taroko Gorge Road the Taroko Gorge Road in Taiwan stretches for just under 12 miles and snakes through the dramatic Taroko National Park. Towering marble cliffs rise on one side, while the Liwu River carves its path far below on the other. The road itself is a marvel of engineering, defying gravity as it clings precariously to the mountainside. But what makes this a contender for world's most dangerous road? Firstly, it's a single lane affair, barely wide enough for one vehicle. Passing oncoming traffic becomes a nerve-wracking experience, requiring drivers to navigate tight switchbacks and blind corners with sheer drops just a breath away. The natural beauty of the area comes with a price. Taiwan's typhoon season brings heavy rains that can trigger landslides, raining rocks and debris onto the roadway, causing sudden closures and potential dangers. Adding to the complexity, Taroko National Park sits on a seismic fault line. Earthquakes, a frequent occurrence here, can destabilize the mountainside, causing cracks and potential collapses that threaten the road's integrity. Despite the dangers, Taroko Gorge Road remains a popular tourist attraction. The breathtaking scenery, with its unique geological formations and lush vegetation, is a photographer's paradise. However, for those who choose to drive this route, it's crucial to be aware of the risks and exercise extreme caution. Now, the story doesn't end there. The Taroko Gorge Road isn't the only way to experience this awe-inspiring region. In a feat of modern engineering, the Central Cross Island Highway cuts through the treacherous terrain, offering a safer and more efficient way to traverse the island. This meticulously engineered marvel features multiple lanes, wider shoulders, and strategically placed tunnels to bypass particularly dangerous sections. If you prioritize safety and comfort, the Central Cross Island Highway is the clear choice. However, if you're an experienced driver seeking a thrilling adventure, the Taroko Gorge Road offers a unique challenge. Number 13. Karakoram Highway. Nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world, the Karakoram Highway stretches for a staggering 810 miles, weaving its way through some of the most breathtaking landscapes on Earth. 
This monumental feat of engineering connects China and Pakistan, offering a glimpse into the majestic Himalayas and the Karakoram mountain range. However, the Karakoram Highway is a testament to the fact that beauty often comes hand in hand with danger. The Karakoram Highway ascends to dizzying heights, reaching over 15,000 feet above sea level at its highest point. Thin air becomes a constant challenge, making every breath a struggle and potentially causing altitude sickness for the unprepared. The unforgiving nature of the environment is further emphasized by the ever-present threat of landslides, falling rocks, and sudden floods. Avalanches, particularly during winter months, pose a significant risk to travelers. The steep cliffs that line the narrow roads leave little room for error, demanding utmost caution and skilled driving. The Karakoram Highway is steeped in history, following sections of the ancient Silk Road, a vital trade route for centuries. The modern highway, constructed in 1959, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. However, its construction came at a significant cost. Nearly a thousand workers tragically lost their lives during construction due to dynamite blasts and subsequent landslides. The unforgiving terrain continues to claim lives even today. Despite the dangers, the Karakoram Highway remains a popular route for adventurous travelers. The majestic scenery, from snow-capped peaks to deep valleys, is undeniably captivating. Number 12. North Yungas Road. This is a road so dangerous it earned the chilling nickname El Camino de la Muerte, the Death Road. This isn't just a catchy name. The North Yungas Road in Bolivia was once notorious for its lethally high accident rate. Constructed in the 1930s by Paraguayan prisoners of war during the Chaco War, the North Yungas Road served a vital purpose, connecting the Bolivian capital, La Paz, to the Amazon rainforest town of Coroico. However, this seemingly simple task involved a treacherous journey. The road stretches for about 40 miles, climbing a staggering 15,000 feet before reaching its peak. The ascent is relentless, with some sections reaching gradients as steep as 40%. Combine that with a narrow single lane barely wide enough for one vehicle, and you have a recipe for disaster. Adding to the danger were the unforgiving elements. Dense fog can roll in at any moment, reducing visibility to near zero. Heavy rains trigger landslides that shower the road with debris, and perhaps the most terrifying feature, sheer drops of up to 2,000 feet on either side of the road, with no guardrails to protect drivers from a fatal plunge. The statistics are grim. Up until the mid-1990s, nearly 300 people lost their lives on the North Yungas Road annually. Tragically, many of these were truck drivers transporting goods between La Paz and Coroico. Thankfully, a safer alternative emerged in 1994, a modern multi-lane highway with proper safety measures. With this new route available, the North Yungas Road was effectively closed to most vehicles. However, the story doesn't end there. This treacherous path, once a symbol of danger, has been transformed into something unexpected, a thrilling cycling challenge. The breathtaking scenery, with its lush cloud forests and dramatic cliffs, now attracts mountain bikers from around the world. Number 11. James Dalton Highway. The James Dalton Highway in Alaska evokes a sense of isolation and adventure. This 414-mile stretch of gravel unfurls north of Fairbanks, slicing through a harsh, unforgiving landscape and culminating at Dead Horse, near the Arctic Ocean and the Prudhoe Bay oil fields. Featured on shows like Ice Road Truckers and World's Most Dangerous Roads, the Dalton Highway has earned a reputation for its remoteness and challenging conditions. Imagine a road where the nearest gas station, supplies, or even towns might be hundreds of miles away. That's the reality on the Dalton Highway. With only three settlements scattered along its 414-mile length, Coldfoot at mile 175, Wiseman at mile 188, and Dead Horse at the very end, End, this route emphasizes self-reliance. The unforgiving terrain adds another layer of difficulty. Gravel dominates the surface, creating a loose and unpredictable driving experience. Steep grades further complicate navigation, demanding a skilled and cautious driver. Perhaps the most significant danger on the James Dalton Highway is its isolation. Cell phone service is non-existent in many stretches, leaving travelers with limited means of communication in case of emergencies. Response times for breakdowns or accidents can be lengthy, making survival gear a crucial element for anyone venturing onto this remote road. This includes items like a spare tire, jack, warm clothes, food, and a first aid kit. 
Despite its dangers, the James Dalton Highway remains a vital artery. During winter, as many as 250 trucks, reminiscent of those featured on Ice Road Truckers, navigate its icy surface daily, transporting essential supplies to the Prudhoe Bay oil fields. Summer sees a slightly lower volume with around 160 trucks making the trek. The proximity to the Arctic Ocean also attracts commercial tours, bringing adventure seekers to experience this unique and challenging environment. Number 10. Trans-Siberian Highway The Trans-Siberian Railway is legendary for its epic journey across Russia. But what about the road that runs alongside it? The Trans-Siberian Highway, a behemoth stretching over 6,800 miles, offers a different kind of adventure, one that's equal parts breathtaking and brutal. This isn't your average highway. The Trans-Siberian Highway holds the distinction of being one of the longest roads in the world, connecting St. Petersburg on the Baltic Sea to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. Imagine a road that traverses an entire continent, crossing a vast array of landscapes, from verdant forests to sprawling tundra and everything in between. The construction of the Trans-Siberian Highway is a story steeped in hardship. It was built by gulag prisoners under the harsh Soviet regime. These workers battled not just the unforgiving terrain, but also the brutal Siberian winters, carving a path through a nearly inhospitable landscape. The Trans-Siberian Highway isn't for the faint of heart. While sections are paved and well-maintained, vast stretches, particularly in Siberia, remain unpaved. Imagine navigating a dirt road for hundreds of miles, gas stations are scarce, and the remoteness adds another layer of difficulty. A flat tire here could turn into a major ordeal, especially if a blizzard rolls in. The beauty of the Trans-Siberian Highway is undeniable. Travelers are rewarded with stunning vistas across diverse landscapes. However, the sheer scale of Russia and its harsh climate must be respected. Be prepared for extreme temperatures, unpredictable weather patterns, and long stretches of isolation. Number 9. Atlantic Ocean Road the Atlantic Road in Norway is a 22-mile stretch of asphalt that carves its way through a dramatic coastline, offering a scenic spectacle unlike any other. Completed in the early 1980s after six years of construction, the Atlantic Road is more than just a thoroughfare. It's an engineering marvel. A series of low bridges connect a chain of small islands and skerries, creating the illusion of driving directly on the ocean's surface. The result? Breathtaking vistas where the turquoise waters merge seamlessly with the horizon, punctuated by the occasional glimpse of a charming fishing village nestled amongst the rugged cliffs. However, the Atlantic Road's beauty comes with a significant caveat, danger. This scenic route is notorious for its challenging driving conditions. Sharp curves and unpredictable twists punctuate the journey, demanding a high level of concentration and skill behind the wheel. The narrow road, barely wide enough for two vehicles in some sections, leaves little room for error. But the real challenge comes from the ever-changing moods of the North Atlantic. The region is known for its powerful storms and unpredictable weather. High winds can whip across the road in an instant, reducing visibility to near zero. Calm seas can transform into churning waves that threaten to crash over the low bridges, creating a truly intimidating experience for even the most seasoned drivers. Despite the risks, the Atlantic Road Road attracts a steady stream of adventurous travelers. For those who dare to navigate its challenging curves, the rewards are substantial. The sight of waves crashing against the low bridges is a spectacle of raw power and natural beauty. On clear days, panoramic vistas of the rugged coastline and the endless expanse of the ocean stretch out as far as the eye can see, creating a truly unforgettable experience. Number 8. Killer Topangi Road. High in the Himalayas, nestled between the majestic peaks of Himachal Pradesh, lies the Killer Pangi Road, a route so perilous it deserves a place on any list of the world's most dangerous roads. Stretching for over 70 miles, the Killer Pangi Road connects the remote Pangi Valley with the village of Killar. Reaching a staggering maximum elevation of over 8,200 feet, the road carves a precarious path along sheer mountain cliffs. The most terrifying aspect? The complete absence of guardrails. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and a vehicle could plummet thousands of feet down into the abyss below. This treacherous route isn't even accessible year-round. The harsh Himalayan winters render it impassable, leaving only the summer months for travel. Even during this brief window, the journey is a slow and arduous one. The road remains unpaved, a dusty track littered with potholes and the ever-present danger of loose rocks that have tumbled down the mountainsides. 
Unlike many modern roads, the Killer Pangi Road wasn't built with heavy machinery or engineered for safety. It was constructed centuries ago by the local villagers as a means of connecting their remote communities. The lack of repairs over the years adds to its danger, leaving the road in a state of perpetual precariousness. The width of the Killer Pangi Road is another major concern. Only one vehicle, typically a Jeep, can navigate the route at a time. Number 7. Cotahuasi Canyon Road Deep within the heart of Peru lies the Cotahuasi Canyon, boasting the title of the world's third deepest canyon, a staggering feat of nature that dwarfs even the Grand Canyon in depth. But reaching this hidden wonder requires traversing a road as legendary for its breathtaking beauty as for its heart-stopping dangers, the Cotahuasi Canyon Road. The Cotahuasi Canyon Road begins its treacherous journey near the city of Arequipa, branching off the Pan American Highway. Unlike its well-paved counterpart, the Cotahuasi Canyon Road is a test of resilience. Much of this route remains unpaved, a loose surface of rocks and pebbles constantly at risk of rockfalls from the towering canyon walls. The rainy season transforms this precarious path into an even more formidable challenge, turning the loose surface into a treacherous mudslide waiting to happen. Completing the Cotahuasi Canyon Road is no easy feat. The relentless climb to reach the canyon rim takes a staggering 10 to 12 hours, a testament to the sheer scale of the terrain. Only the most seasoned drivers and vehicles equipped with four-wheel drive are recommended for this adventure. The lack of tourist infrastructure along the route further emphasizes that this is a journey for the truly determined. The Cotahuasi Canyon Road isn't just about loose rocks and steep climbs. It's a journey through a landscape of breathtaking beauty and humbling extremes. Hairpin curves carve their way through the canyon walls, demanding unwavering focus and nerves of steel. Sheer drop-offs plunge for thousands of feet, a constant reminder of the unforgiving nature of the environment. As you ascend the Cotahuasi Canyon Road, the air itself becomes a challenge. The road reaches a staggering peak of 15,000 feet above sea level, pushing the very limits of human endurance. Thin air makes every breath a struggle, adding another layer of difficulty to this already demanding journey. Number 6. Commonwealth Avenue Now the name Commonwealth Avenue doesn't exactly scream danger zone, but don't be fooled. This seemingly ordinary highway located in Quezon City, Philippines holds a dark secret. It's notorious for a shocking number of accidents and fatalities. Here's why Commonwealth Avenue earns the nickname Killer Highway. Firstly, it's incredibly busy, carrying a massive volume of traffic daily. The sheer number of vehicles creates a chaotic environment, especially since there's a glaring lack of proper traffic management. Dedicated lanes for bicycles and motorcycles are absent, creating a dangerous mix of slow and fast-moving vehicles. Adding to the confusion, stop signs and yield signs are scarce, leaving drivers to navigate intersections with little clear guidance. Public transportation on Commonwealth Avenue adds another layer of chaos. Jeepneys, the iconic Filipino buses, notorious for frequent and unpredictable stops, further disrupt the flow of traffic and create potential hazards. The speed limit on Commonwealth Avenue is a mere 37 mph, but that's often disregarded. Combined with the lack of proper signage and enforcement, it's a recipe for disaster. The statistics bear this out, with around five accidents happening daily and a staggering 7,000 deaths annually. Tragically, pedestrians and cyclists are often caught in the crossfire. Bystanders attending accident victims themselves become victims as the chaotic traffic situation spirals out of control. So why take this highway if it's so dangerous? Unfortunately for many residents of Quezon City, Commonwealth Avenue is a crucial artery. It is a main thoroughfare connecting them to other cities and vital government agencies. There's often no alternative route available. While Commonwealth Avenue presents a significant challenge, efforts are underway to improve safety. Increased enforcement of traffic laws, improved signage, and dedicated lanes for slower vehicles are all steps toward making this highway less deadly. Number 5. Stelvio Pass Nestled between imposing peaks, nestled amidst the picturesque landscapes of rural Italy, lies the Stelvio Pass, a road that's as legendary for its stunning beauty as for its hair-raising challenges. The pass runs from Bormio to Prato allo Stelvio. The Stelvio Pass holds the distinction of being one of the most challenging and dramatic roads in Europe. This 29-mile behemoth winds its way through the Ortler Alps of northern Italy, just a stone's throw from the Swiss border. Over its course, the road climbs a staggering 6,140 feet, soaring past snow-capped peaks and offering breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains. The iconic 48 hairpin turns, tightly packed into the route, demand 
unwavering focus and precise handling from drivers. Built by the Austrian Empire between 1820 and 1825, the Stelvio Pass served the strategic purpose of connecting the then Austrian province of Lombardy with the rest of the country. Today, the pass stands as a historical landmark and a popular attraction for cyclists and adventurous drivers. While undeniably picturesque, the Stelvio Pass doesn't shy away from danger. The road's high altitude makes it susceptible to harsh weather conditions. During winter months, icy patches and heavy snowfall transform the climb into a treacherous battle against the elements. Sadly, these conditions have claimed lives in the past. Number 4. Zoji La Pass High amidst the mighty Himalayas lies the Zoji La, a mere 5.5-mile stretch of road that feels like a lifetime for many travelers. This isn't your average scenic route. It's a heart-pounding climb that tests nerves and demands respect for the raw power of nature. The Zoji La claims the dubious title of having no guardrails along its entire length. This might sound like an exhilarating adventure, but at an elevation of over 11,500 feet, it translates to a constant battle against vertigo and a healthy dose of fear. The narrow, unpaved road winds its way precariously through the Himalayas, offering stunning yet intimidating views. Landslides are a constant threat, and a complete lack of signage leaves travelers guessing about potential dangers around each bend. Originally built in 1947 for military purposes, the Zoji La serves as a vital link between Ladakh and Kashmir. It's a lifeline for this remote region, allowing for the transport of essential supplies and connecting communities. However, this strategic importance comes at a cost. During winter months, snowfall can reach a staggering 50 feet, coupled with fierce winds, making the pass completely impassable. For months, entire towns become isolated, a stark reminder of the power of nature. As you navigate the treacherous Zoji La, the wreckage of overturned buses and mangled cars serves as a chilling testament to its dangers. Number 3. Skipper's Canyon Road Carved right into the mountains of New Zealand's Southern Alps lies Skipper's Canyon Road. This isn't your average scenic route. It's a narrow, unpaved path clinging precariously to the canyon wall, offering breathtaking views alongside a constant sense of danger. Skipper's Canyon Road owes its existence to the gold rush of the late 19th century. Over a hundred years ago, miners hand-carved this precarious path, a mere one-lane track, to access the rich gold deposits in the Shotover River Canyon below. Today, the road remains largely unchanged, a narrow and unforgiving single lane etched into the rock face. The lack of pavement and guardrails adds another layer of danger, leaving drivers exposed to a potentially fatal drop of hundreds of meters down to the raging Shotover River. Skipper's Canyon Road stretches for about 22 kilometers, running from the paved Coronet Peak Road to Skipper's Campground. While the historic route is technically open to the public, it's strongly discouraged for anyone without proper experience and a suitable vehicle. The road's narrow width, often no wider than a single car, creates choke points, making it impossible for two vehicles to pass safely. Backing up along this precarious path can be nerve-wracking, and a single misstep could have tragic consequences. Despite the attraction, people lose their lives here every year, with a reported 185 fatalities in 2021 alone. Given the inherent dangers, most who traverse Skipper's Canyon Road do so with experienced guides at the helm. Tour buses specifically designed for this challenging terrain, with skilled drivers who know every twist and turn, navigate the tight corners and sheer drops. Adventure companies also utilize the route for off-road excursions in specially modified vehicles, but even these require a thorough safety briefing and respect for the unforgiving terrain. Number 2. Pasubio Road Nestled amidst the majestic Dolomites of northern Italy lies the Pasubio Road, a route so treacherous it seems ripped straight out of a bygone era. This isn't your average scenic drive, it's a journey through history, carved into the mountains during a time of war, and a testament to the raw power of nature. The Pasubio Road owes its existence to World War I. Built in 1917 by the Italian military, its purpose was to provide a strategic supply route and access point to the summit of Mount Pasubio, a key battleground during the conflict. The construction itself was a perilous endeavor, carried out under constant threat of enemy fire and harsh weather conditions. The Italian government even attempted to shut down construction on multiple occasions due to the high number of casualties among the workforce. The Pasubio Road, 
also known as the Road of 52 Tunnels, is a harrowing testament to the ingenuity and desperation of wartime. Sharply winding along the mountainside, the narrow road is barely wide enough for a single car. Certain sections are completely impassable for larger vehicles like SUVs and trucks, with numerous warnings urging drivers to turn back. The most notorious section involves a rocky overhang that transitions abruptly into a small tunnel. The complete lack of guardrails along this stretch leaves drivers mere inches away from a plummeting fall. Perhaps the most suitable way to experience the Pasubio Road is on foot. Hiking or biking this historic route allows for a deeper appreciation of the breathtaking scenery and the engineering marvel that is the road itself. Each of the 52 tunnels becomes a portal into the past, whispering tales of wartime struggles and sacrifices. Number 1. Halsama Highway Nestled amidst the breathtaking peaks of the Cordillera Central Mountain Range in the Philippines lies the Halsama Highway. While its 2011 paving significantly improved safety, it remains a thrilling and often perilous journey, demanding respect and caution from drivers. The 93-mile stretch from Baguio City to Bontoc offers stunning panoramic views, but beneath the beauty lurks danger. Sheer drop-offs of nearly a thousand feet line the roadway, leaving little room for error. Sharp, winding curves hug the mountainsides, testing the skills of even the most experienced drivers. The unforgiving environment adds another layer of challenge. Mudslides and landslides triggered by heavy rains are a constant threat. Loose rocks tumbling down from the slopes can strike vehicles unexpectedly. Low-lying mist and fog can engulf the road in an instant, reducing visibility to near zero. These unpredictable elements transform a scenic drive into a nerve-wracking experience. The Halsama Highway serves as a vital artery for the region, carrying a diverse mix of vehicles. Large buses often share the narrow lanes with smaller cars, creating a potential hazard. Commuters, tourists, and local transporters all rely on this route, making responsible driving even more critical. Sadly, the Halsama Highway has claimed its share of lives in the past. However, recent improvements offer a glimmer of hope. The paved surface provides better traction, and ongoing maintenance efforts aim to mitigate the risks posed by landslides and falling debris. That's all for now. Until next time, bye.